my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I I don't I don't know how I got myself in this situation. So sometimes I think that I haven't bought as much as I did. And when I get stressed, sometimes I shop a little bit more. And you know, I really thought my last haul was quite large. But I don't think it had any on this. So and this is a little look at what I've been wearing to my face for my eyeshadow primer looks because as I've got to work this afternoon so I can't do like a beautiful colorful look to share with you guys I was like should I face mask again I was like nah like let's see if I can fit in a quick eyeshadow primer test this morning while we film this video so let me start one of the things that happened is that the Sephora sale in Australia it happened which means we had 20% off everything I was like oh you know I don't need to buy too much. Um, this is some of my Sephora haul. Without even trying, I managed to order online three times and go in store once. So let me show you what I bought. So from Cover Effects, I got the Sun Kissed Bronze, which is hell. Annette from the Next Makeup Corner, she got me onto these, and this actually wasn't in line wasn't in stock online so I ended up buying this in store which was super surprising because it's very rare that Sephora has it in stock in store but not online usually it's online but not in store I also bought Sweet Mulberry from CoverFX and I actually love this color it's like this beautiful mauve blush I'm super into cool tones for my blush sometimes I don't know but I have them too, so now I'm really happy. I think I'm starting to really fall in love with Fenty products. So I bought the Fenty eyeshadow primer and used that. Okay, because I've seen some really good reviews about it and it, it was pretty good. I will leave it to the, my future video to talk more about it. But because of this, I was like, okay, well, I'm really going to try the new Fenty mattifying primer, which is here. And um, if you were oily, this primer is very good. I don't have it on today and I'm very shiny. I regret that decision because I should have put it on. I also bought like the mini Fenty powder in butter. And that's one of the things I love about Fenty is that they stock up and they they do they do release a lot of their products in minis eventually. So I haven't used this one yet. We've got the cute little FB in there. I don't know. I'm curious to give it a try. Well look, we're a bit shiny now. Let's see if it was anything. All right, we've got a good amount coming out that's nice. And then we have this very strange pad that's like suede. Oh, it smells lovely. Like it's a very faint, I don't know, like a rose scent maybe? I'm just going to be here with my powder, okay. All right, I'm keen to play with that a bit more. Oh, look at that already. Let me just wipe that off. But I don't know if you can tell, but for me that just brought my shine down so much. That is crazy. I bought the mini of the Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown. And this is just like the Dip Brow on a wand. It's really easy to use and it's a lot harder to go too much like you can with the Dip Brow. And I'm kind of into it. I really, I don't mind it. I feel like a quick brow moment is very good. My brow's not very good at the moment, so we can even use it right now. I do find that I still just kind of need to put like a brow brush through my brows. And voila. You're going to see how much darker and defined they are. For me who has like brow hairs, this is very good, a very nice product. When you ordered online, because I am a gold level member at Sephora, I managed to order at midnight. I kind of was so excited to buy. Yeah, I just had a few things I wanted, and they had these cute little bags that they were doing. I don't know how many they had, because I don't think many people have gotten them. There's a beautiful red, we've got some little pockets. I don't know, I'm excited to use it. And I'm excited to finally have it out. Sorry, I've been saving this haul for you guys. And um, this morning I just got three deliveries of stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, they released a 
cruelty-free version of my favorite waterproof primer, water, waterproof remover. So I was like, well, cruelty-free, like, I'll support that. So I picked up a new one of them. And it's like about the same price. So I was pretty happy. And I could, I could never have enough of them. I spent 100 of my points and got this. It's an old Harrison Glow OH Dark Spot Toner. Oh, it's got AHAs in it. All right. I think this will be fun to try. I've been really enjoying my... Uh, I've got the old Harrison like, Spa scrub thing. And I really like that. It's a really nice product. So I'm excited to try some more of them. From Fenty, they had these. These were on discontinued and they're on special. But it is the old. They've got Cosmic Gloss from Fenty in this very pretty packaging. And so it's got like a beautiful multi cream sort of shift to it. I don't know. Is it purple pink? Uh, and I just put it over like a coral. I don't know. But beautiful very happy with that in my collection lovely annette did a video about the natasha denona metropolis palette it's still not in australia but the sunrise palette is like an affordable version of natasha denona it was a small one so she sold me and it came in this crazy box it's got some weird i don't know like do these smash a lot? It's the first time I've had one package like that. But I have the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. Let me show you. Voila. Oh, it's got holes in the back so you can depot. Interesting. I didn't notice that. I may have already opened it and swatched myself. It's me. Um, this looks. It looks very beautiful and pigmented. I really love like this shade down here. What is it? Carnelian. It's like a mustardy yellow. Look at you. Um, so I'm very happy to have this in my collection. And I blame in it. And then, like um I do have a few friends who are Natasha Denona obsessed. So I figured it was about time I tested this out brand out for myself. And I think that concludes the Sephora portion of this haul. From Glaminatrix Cosmetics. I, I've already unpackaged it because it was singles, but I got their single, the empty palette, and I really love it. And I got some new shades from them. They are beautiful. The shade I've been excited for is this one. I believe this is algae, and it's just like this crazy green. I don't know. I can't wait to put this all in my eyes, and look how like lonely this one looks. But super cute. It says like like wildflowers, you must allow yourself to grow in all the places that people thought you never would. But it's super high quality. It's quite deep. So if you've got pans that are a bit even bigger than these, you're going to be fine. Oh, I haven't tested out the mirror. Let me. Wow. The mirror is very good. You want to see me again? Let's see if I line it up. Anyway. Hello. <laughs> um, so this mirror looks really good. And... I love how shiny it is and I think she's said that she's going to release some more of these but if you're in the market for empty palettes I think this is maybe my new favorite brand of them from so um this is one of the packages that came today I wasn't expecting it to come today I only ordered this on Friday so Australis which is uh like an Australian cosmetic brand they had 50% off and they released a new foundation so I convinced myself that I should buy enough to do like a um, a full face of the Australis products and it was seriously 50% off so I'm kind of really excited so I picked up the original primer which I've been treated to test the new foundation oh and sorry there's not much about this foundation um, I got the shade what shade did I even get? Honeydew and it's full coverage ultra lightweight but We'll do a video talking all about this and go more into it. I got this nice, this cute little blush that's uh, Strawberries and Dreams with scent in. I don't, uh, I'm not into that scent, but it's a really cute, like, I don't know, darkish blush. And I felt like I didn't really have much like that in my collection, maybe. 
I picked up the Fresh and Flawless powder, which apparently is um, a very popular Australian product that I've never used. It's cute, it feels a bit cheap, but like I didn't pay that much for it, so I'm pretty happy. I think this all cost me like 50 bucks. I know this was $2. Down from four. And this is in ganache gold, sweet like chocolate. And like, mm, mm, mm. don't buy this for the scent. It's not, it's not pleasant. But it looks like just a really nice light bronzer. Happy to try. I got the concealer because why not? And I also bought this strange palette that um, I'm questioning my thought process. An all-in-one palette that contains three versatile eyeshadows. Um, like I guess that's the eyeshadows. Yeah. I mean, you can do things with them. I don't know. It'll be interesting, but it definitely feels pretty cheap. Um, the sticker's lifting. I'm not super, super in love with it, but I bought it. I'll use it. I'll make a video. I got this cute little Girl Boss lipstick, and this is the shade Iconic. It seems to be like a satin sheer formula, but it's right there. I picked up the mascara, just the mini, because I didn't need like a big one. And I thought this was a super cute idea, but it had the skinny mini. So this is a mascara for your lower lashes. I can't get in there at the moment. It's very well secured. But I'm keen to give this a try and just see if maybe that will be better for me for my lower lashes. Just because my eyes can be quite small sometimes, so getting in there can be a bit hard. Uh, from Juvia's Place, I picked up their foundation, which I'd forgotten I bought. And I got the shade Bali 720 which seems to be okay. And I'll definitely give this a try and come back to you later on that. These was like interesting packages. Like the outer's got a bit smashed up, but Juvie's Place, even if that does happen, are amazing. So my lovely friend, Cher Jonathan, she let me her tribe palette and I hadn't seen it in person before. I don't know, when I was seeing people with it, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, like I can live without it. And then I saw it in person and I was like, no, I can't live without this. So, this has joined my Juvia's Place collection of palettes. I'm very excited. I also finally got my You Are a Warrior, or does it the Warrior 3. I just love the look of this palette. It looked beautiful. I love the packaging. Mm -mm, yes. I know, I'm super excited about this. And look, I love shiny things. I know, it just looks really beautiful. And now, I think I could join in. How many Juvia's Places? I can make my own palette. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. I have six palettes, so I can be like Annette and make a Juvia's Place video about a palette I would make with Juvia's Place shapes. Super excited. So on one of my last videos um, where I clubbed with Annette, someone came over and they were just asking about where I shop and stuff, and then they said, you're so lucky to have Discount Beauty Boutique in Queensland because it's super quick shipping. And um, I've never bought from them. I never even knew they were a thing. And... Um, well, I mean, because I'm doing the eyeshadow primer test, I could justify it. So I bought a few things. They have, like, some pretty cool brands available. And so for my eyeshadow primer test, I'm so excited that I get to try it with the Milani eyeshadow primer. I hear so many good things about this, and I feel like if you're testing eyeshadow primers, it, was, it would be incomplete without this. I also, they had the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. I don't know if I've seen as much about this, but I'm curious to try it. Um, and yeah. Uh, Annette has always been using the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner, so they only had this one fresh in stock. But it seems so creamy and I cannot wait to use it. I also finally have the Milani Luminoso blush. Oh, it has a cute little brush in the bottom. Um, yeah, this is cute. I'm excited to have it. <laughs> and then we have... The thing I'm most excited to share with you guys. So, Melt Cosmetics came out with the Radioactive Collection. I don't know if you're aware. Um, it's very pretty. I really liked it. And um, I think I woke up early to buy it. It didn't sell out anyway. But I was very tempted to buy. Oh, look, it's got beautiful blue wrapping. I paid for the privilege to pretend I'm a beauty guru and get a PR package. I don't know. I've never gotten PR and... The longer I have a channel, the more I just wish, I don't know, like, I wish I was good enough to receive it, but I'm not, and that's okay. I'll pay for it anyway. <laughs> so, 
comes with a cute little thing. It comes with this cute picture of all the shadows in the palette. And we've got, so I've got the blushes and the two lipsticks that they released with. This is the blush in Gamma Ray. And you're meant to like be able to mix them around and play with them. They're very pigmented. I've swatched them and they're very shimmery. So I don't know how I feel about them. But that's kind of like a crappy swatch of them. I think I definitely will do a video with this whole set. I've got the lipsticks just because you know you, you pay for it and then you might as well share it. So I've got the two lipsticks. I've never tried lipsticks from Melt so I'm excited to use this. There's Atomic and Super Heat. And the palette. So it was a bit sad because you can, and you can still buy this kit if you're interested online as far as I'm aware. Um, it never sold out and I don't think people were as excited about this as I was. But I've really, I've always wanted the Radioactive Melt set, so this is interesting. I know Annette's already done a video, and I don't know if she was really into it. Ooh. I don't know. They're so... Oh, scared me. They're so soft, and... Oh, look at that blue! Alright. I'm excited. And it's like a fuzzy material. Interesting. Unfortunately, there is one downer to this package. And that is... The Melt Cosmetics Ultraviolet. So when I opened it, I had a feeling. Of, I just I like to just check because sometimes things are broken. I had a feeling something was wrong. And oh, was I right? Look at it. It's very smashed. Um, yeah. Anyway, I've actually already contacted Melt. They've already gotten back to me, and they've already said they'll send me a replacement. So I'm so excited for that. I cannot wait. And I'm looking forward to sitting down with you guys and playing with some of this stuff. And like, oh my god. I'm so excited. And oh, I just remembered, I also did buy the Bourgeois Being Taken to Be Kind shampoo. Uh, I'm just in the app, so I needed to restock. Anyway, I believe that brings us to an end of all the things I've bought. Um, feel free to judge me. For my buying, I think after this, I was really looking forward to maybe buying the Novena Volume 2 palette, and then she released Volume 3 today, and I, don't, I just don't know how I feel about it. And then after that, I'm going to just... Well, actually, I bought the Shroud Cosmetics Arcana palette this morning. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it all. Let me know. Um, yeah, let me know what... You think of maybe the Novena palettes, let me know what you think of what I bought, let me know what you want to see me talk about soon. All right, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it and adore you. If this is your first time here, I'd love it if you would consider subscribing or at least checking out some other videos and seeing if you like my vibe. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I absolutely appreciate it and adore you. Mwah.